God bless you. Good evening, viewers. I want to welcome you. Thank God for what God has done over your life, seeing you through all this week, coming to the uh, end of this week. This is already weekend. This is Friday, the month of August. Hallelujah. The Lord has been so faithful. And this is the last week in the month of August. I believe God has been so faithful. I want to say thank you, Lord for what God has already done already in your life. And I believe God will keep on doing more greater things and mightier things towards our lives and our family and everything that we do, our endeavors and etc. Hallelujah. Active right? We are streaming live on Ark of Wonders Ministries Worldwide. We are live on YouTube, Facebook page, and also all our media platform, our website. Also, we are live right now. And I want you to welcome you to this great night encounter with pastors. With me are pastors that we shall be learning about the gospel, the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. We shall be actually expanding the word to get to have more understanding of what is the Bible. What is God talking about us? Until we realize or we understand about what God says of our lives through the mirror, which is the Bible, the manual guide of a human being today, as a believer, as a Christian, as you are, as I am today. I want you to know that it's 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 a mandate that we read the Bible, we understand. As the scripture keeps on saying, read the Bible, hallelujah, by the truth, hallelujah. It means you need to be having the Bible throughout. This is our night, and I believe viewers, wherever you are viewing us from, please be part. We shall be having prayers at the end of this program. We shall be praying for you bring up all cases that the devil might have brought against you and they have to be eliminated they have to be broken and this is your night wherever you are viewing us please be set hallelujah hallelujah please be set wherever you are viewing us from please drop us a message where you are viewing us from those that don't know please and share the video let it reach to your families friends etc wherever you are Distance is not a barrier. The Lord shall reach and bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So please, God's children, viewers, wherever you are, this is your moment. And my name is Prophet El Katioka. And with me, I'm with Pastor. I shall be able to get to know their names later on. As they are already in the studios right now with me, we shall be sharing the word of God. So please drop me a message wherever you are viewing us from so that we are able to pray for you. Don't forget that we normally call names for those that have sent us whatsapp messages those that have sent us you know emails hallelujah and etc so that we communicate and we keep on praying with you prophecy guidance those are your rights you are there so that god can guide you you should reach where god wants you to be hallelujah and i believe you are set now and put your heart in ready and pick your pen and pick your bible we shall learn for the next 30 minutes about the word of god what is the bible what is it why did God give us the Bible? We need to have a clear understanding over that. Hallelujah. So please be said as we going to hear the word of God from Pastor Mubanga. Hallelujah. And the team, we are all participating. May the Lord richly bless you. May the Lord richly take you forward. You and your family, you shall not going to remain the same. The Lord shall surely take you forward. Hallelujah. Please, I take you down to the studios where uh, the pastors are gathered, ready for you. These are my pastors who are gathered. I take you down to the studios. Please, they are ready for you. As you are viewing us wherever you are, the Lord is richly there for you. Please, I want you to know that the word of God is a daily manner that we should keep on having as we are enjoying our daily food. Amen. So please be set as Pastor Mbanga takes over to share with us the word of the Lord, the living word of God. Hallelujah. So please... I believe your families shall not be the same anymore. God is so gracious and God is so merciful. Right now, we are not going to remain the same. This is our season and this is our time. Viewers, wherever you are viewing us from, please, that's Pastor Mbanga who is ready to share with us the gospel, what God has left with us. Yes, we know that God has not gone forever. He has said, I am with you forever and forever. What does it mean when we say God is still with us? He is still with us because he has left the word with us. He has left the gospel. 
which he did, it is clearly written that our lives should emulate Christ, should emulate Jesus Christ. We should live a life where we have to emulate Jesus Christ so that we can live holy, we can live as righteous, we can live as we are expected to go to heaven. Hallelujah. So God's children, viewers, wherever you are viewing us from, so this is our season, this is our time, this is our time, and we are not going to be the same anymore. We are not going to be the same anymore. This is our season, and your families shall be definitely out of every case that might be haunting us and be disturbing our families. This is the season that we are waiting for. Please be set. That's Pastor Mvanga who shall share with us the word of the Lord this night. So please be set as they are in the house. May the Lord bless you. I'm Pastor Mvanga. I'm going to share with you the word of God. The word of God from the book of 27, verse 1. The 18, it says, Overcoming fear with faith. That's the subject which we are going to talk about. Overcoming fear with faith. We are going to read the Bible. From the book of Psalms 27, the Bible reads, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Afraid? Yeah. The... The writer of this book is David. Uh, we are going to define the word fear itself first. Fear, fear means is a dark shadow that envelops us and ultimately imprisons us within ourselves. Each of us has been a prisoner of fear. Fear of rejection, fear of uncertainty, fear of misunderstanding. I've defined the meaning of fear now I also going to define the word faith. Faith is a substance of things that you opt for. That is faith. Now, uh, our subject, which is says. Overcoming fear with faith. Uh, we are going to talk about fear itself. The word fear has got four letters. It has got four letters. And 